Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to be testing and trying out the Revolution and Love Island collab. How exciting. Love Island starts on the 6th of June. I will definitely be watching that for sure. So we've got eyeshadow palettes, bronzer, highlighter, liquid lipstick, lots and lots of things to try out in this video. So I'm going to be making or creating this little makeup look as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So the first product I've got is the Love Island Revolution, I've got a text, <laughs> eyeshadow palette. So this is the outer packaging. This was £12 and this is part of the Forever Flawless range. If you haven't seen the Forever Flawless range, basically it's like a little eyeshadow palette collection by Revolution and they're normally very affordable and very good quality so I've got high hopes for this. So this is the packaging. Now if you're like me and you literally love Love Island then you will love this because I'm obsessed. It does look quite basic but it is obviously just the theming of the Love Island like products in the past etc. So it's got the tin palette and it is, I've got a text, all in pink. I think this is just beautiful. Like I say, really simplistic, but like I say, it fits in with the theme and so well. And then this is the actual palette. So what a beautiful size mirror. You know by now, we we'll love a good mirror. And this is all of the shades. Oh my goodness. So the shade names all fit in with Love Island. So there's Game On, Grafton, Buzzin', Banter, Playful, Spoonin', Pied, Sunset, Tropical, Melt, Beach, Date, Crack On. <laughs> flirty, cheeky, lit, message and island. So yeah, I uh, absolutely love this. It's very like summery vibes. I'm very, very here for it. So nine of the shades are all matte shades and the other eight are all shimmer shades. But yeah, really, really beautiful. And the shades are also embossed with a little heart, the matte ones, which I think just is very, very adorable. So I'm just going to pop some eyeshadow primer on. Let's have a little look at some of these shades because I don't want to just go in. Oh my goodness, those are the matte shades, very vibrant indeed. Guess what I haven't done? Brought in a makeup wipe. <laughs> oh, every time I sit down and do a video, I forget the makeup wipe and I end up with this on it basically. Because I've got quite a lot of makeup to get through. Let's do more of a like neutrally kind of shade. Let's go for Buzzin', which is this nice brown shade. And let's just pop this all over my lid. I said it was a brown shade, but it looks more actually like a burgundy shade on my actual lid. Borderline pink, actually. <laughs> so how are you all doing, guys? Because I know it's been a little while. Um, work, to say the least, has been a little bit crazy. So <laughs> I honestly just haven't had time to just have me time, basically. But when I seen the Love Island Revolution collab come out, I was like, oh my goodness, I need to I need to try and find some time. So here I am. But yeah, please let me know in the comments how you've all been. I have really missed uploading because I always say to you, I enjoy doing it. So I also got promoted at work, which is amazing. So that also kind of contributes as to why it's been a bit more full on. But I'm super happy. But yeah, it's just... I think I was just kind of like trying to wait for things to settle down before I came back to YouTube because I didn't want to be like back and then gone and then back. I'm going to try and add a little bit more depth and put a bit of cheeky on and just pop this on my out uh, kind of corners. I'm hoping them two colours will blend relatively nicely together because they are both quite similar. So let me know who's going to be watching Love Island because I'm so excited. I've already been having a little sneak peek of the cast this year. Um, it starts on the 6th of June if you don't know. But I am so excited. I love Love Island. And I feel like so many people go, I don't like Love Island. And then they start watching it. And then, well, the rest is history. <laughs> so we're going to go in with the shade Playful. I'll put a little bit on my brush and see what how it applies. Not very well. Let's put the shade, this one here. Oh yes. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely 
stunning but very vibrant <laughs> I will say that the brush is really struggling to pick anything up. It's definitely one of those where you need to try and apply with your finger. But, I mean, it's blending in really well. It's not really too much of an issue, but I do like to use a brush just for higher up, just to get a bit more control, but it's fine. We'll run with it. Okay. Also, I want to say that this shimmer is quite a hard shimmer. <laughs> hear me out so this one when you press in it it's quite you know it breaks up more easily I'm pushing pretty hard here and the products applying perfectly and is transferring to my finger but yeah it's just a hard shimmer and then I'm gonna pop a little bit of grafting just on my inner corner because why not we like a bit of shimmer I'm going to pop a little bit of sunset just under my eyelid using a very thin brush. Amazing! I like that, like a subtle little touch. I will say I haven't had any fallout from this, so over the moon. That is what Forever Flawless is like, just incredible. Let me show you some more of the shimmers though, just because I know I haven't used every single shade. Look at the pink on my fingers. <laughs> Look at my makeup wipe, it looks so pretty. Let's show you some of the other shades. So we've got Island. Oh my goodness. That is popping. That could have been used for my inner corner as well, to be fair. We've got Game On. A gorge, another one that could have been used for inner corners. Oh. We've got Melt. There is a little bit of transfer behind there of the pink. And we've got Lit as well. How stunning are all of those shimmers? like insane out of this world oh my goodness I think everybody needs to have this palette to be fair for £12 you honestly can't go wrong £12 is very affordable and like I say for how much you see get out of this lots of different shades and for how pretty it is I also got the dynamic one so the more like compact one and this one says go for a chat so that's what this looks like same, literally exactly the same tin. This one's very much a neutrals palette. So you've got four match shades embossed with the heart and then the shimmer shades on the top. I can show you all of these little shimmers as well. They look like absolutely stunning. Like I say, just more of a compact version and less of the vibrant shades. If you were after a more of an everyday palette, then this one would definitely be for you. And this one's 6 99 so I'm just going to go and put some mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, and I am back and this is what the finished eyeshadow looks like. Like I say, really impressed. I love it. Nice and summery and vibrant. I am just going to put some lip gloss on because normally I like to have lip gloss on while I'm doing my makeup. And then I will apply like a lipstick, etc. So this one is the Love Island. It's called the Pout Bomb Clear Lip Gloss. And this is £6. So you can see it's all clear. It's got a little palm tree lid. And then this is the applicator, nice thick brush, and let's go straight in. I will say that it feels like borderline sticky, so it's not sticky, but it's like, it's not a really, really smooth lip gloss, it's a, almost slightly tacky, you know what I mean? But it feels very, very hydrating right now, so that's a good thing. So the next thing I've got is the Love Island Revolution Kabuki brush. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. This was £10. So this is what the actual brush looks like. Are we ready? How cute is that? So you can just pop the lid on, push it down. So it says you can fully retract the brush to apply powder based products or slide the retractable sleeve up to condense the bristles and blend your cream product seamlessly. So I'm going to use this for bronzer which leads us on to my next product. So this is the bronzer that I've got. So it's the Mega Bronzer Vacation. There is actually two different shades of this. So there's this one, and then let me show you. There's a Sun Kiss one, which is this one. These are both five pound, which I think is really reasonable for a bronzer. So this is what the actual packaging looks like. So again, it's got the palm tree kind of theme going on. And this is what the actual bronzer looks like. I think this is adorable. I love how it's got the Love Island embossed all over it. I'm just going to put a little bit on because I don't know how dark this is going to be. It's always a risk, let's be honest, with new bronzers. 
And I'm just going to kind of go in. I'm going to use this as my contour as well, provi providing it's not too dark. It's probably slightly darker than what I normally use, but like slightly. Right, I've had to blend in my... I had to use my foundation brush to try and blend this in because it was looking rather dark and starting to make us look a little bit orange because I am very, very pale. I mean, the sun's come out now in the UK, which is fantastic. So I should start to get a bit of a dan, but um, you know, never mind. So bronzer wise, I just think it was a little bit too dark for us, but I mean, it doesn't look too bad in real life, but with this lighting, I look a little bit orange. So yeah, maybe I'd have to see what I look like in actual daylight rather than right now, but I don't think it's too bad. I think five pound for a bronzer, as long as it kind of like suits your skin type, is amazing. Like I say, it hasn't like stuck too much. It blended out quite well. Um, the brush, I have to say, like, I love the idea of it, it's really cute, but do I think that my normal bronzer brush does the same job? Yeah, so, meh, that's kind of my honest opinion on the brush. So the next product I've got is the one that we've all been waiting for, I know it, <laughs> it's the highlighter, oh my goodness, let me tell you. I'm very excited to try this one. This one is in the shade So Lit, and again, there is two different shades, so let me show you the other one. That one. They're both £5, again, very affordable for a highlighter. Let's have a little look, shall we? Okay, let's go straight in with it. I'm going to take a fan brush. And you know what it is? I'm going to put a little bit just where my eyeshadow was as well. Oh wow, can you see that? Stunning, that is really beautiful. I love it, can you see the glow? Oh yes. Again, I think it doesn't help when I have this many spotlights because I think everyone's like, um, <laughs> but that is really beautiful. Really like, you can see it up there, that is popping. So five pound, absolutely. Then we've got lip kit oh my goodness i love a good lip kit you know this is in the shade of vibin that's all the outer packaging for it and this one's six pound this one does come in three different shades so it just comes in this cardboard packaging but again we love that because we can recycle it so this is the actual liquid lipstick and then this is the lip liner what i'll do is i'll take the lip gloss off and then we'll go in with the actual lipstick so this is what the pencil looks like. To anyone that doesn't have a steady hand, I'm here with you. <laughs> okay, so the pencil's on. And this is what the applicator looks like. And that's what the shade looks like. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm not a massive fan of liquid lipsticks, but it depends, like, how they dry down. So far, it seems like it's still got quite a bit of a shine to it, but like I say, I don't know if it's fully dried down yet. While that's drying down, I do just want to say, I've got this for free, which is incredible. So, normally, well, first of all, if you sign up to the Revolution Rewards, it's amazing. So it's like a loyalty scheme of Revolution. So the more you spend, the more points you earn, and then you can claim it back to spend more money on makeup, which is incredible. But yeah, you also get like little deals every now and again. So you might get free delivery or you might get a free palette. So yeah, this one is worth, well, it's currently on the website for £6. It has been reduced to 4 20 but it's called Dollar Dollar Bills. And that's the shades that are inside. Obviously, there's a plastic film over it. But I just wanted to show you this because... Like I say, Revolution, if you order directly from the website, are incredible. I think that the liquid lipstick's nearly finished drying down now. It has taken a while, though, to go matte. But overall, I really like the colour. And to be fair, I think if you put the lip gloss over it... I mean, I'm just obsessed with lip gloss, but I think it would be alright. Overall, I think I really like all of the theming for the Love Island Revolution collection. The products, I think the eyeshadow palettes were amazing. The highlighter was amazing, so was the lip gloss. The only ones that I kind of was a bit about was probably the bronzer because like I said I think it was a little bit too dark for my skin and the brush I mean I do like how it's well protected in here but like I say I just think for £10 you could use just like an everyday brush if you know what I mean 
The liquid lipstick was really nice colour, but like I say, I think that's just because I'm not a massive fan of liquid lipsticks. But yeah, let me know what your favourite was down below and also let me know if you've purchased any of the collection too. I will give you one last look at the makeup look. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!